Come on, Oliver. He seems alright. Let's introduce ourselves. I don't know, Duck. He seems kind of odd. He may be odd, but beg your pardon, we do need help around here. We don't want to expect one of us to be end up in an accident. He's here to help out for a short while. I understand, Duck. Duck and Oliver were at the Alster Railway, awaiting a diesel, Sydney. They only met him once, and he is a short-term memory loss. Mike and Frank, the Alster Railway engines, would, were showing him the Alster Railway chute, but they very ha had difficulties with his memory loss. Okay, uh, which one is uh, Mike? It's me, you fool. Uh, yeah, uh, okay, you are the red one, and you must be Frank. Yes, finally you got it right. Yes, uh, what am I doing here again? Alright, Sydney, I think you should probably get some trucks and shunt it under there. Um, okay. Oh dear. Mike and Frank are going to get nightmares over this, said Oliver. You're right there, said Duck. I'm going to check on them. What kind of an engine he is? Always forgetful. Indeed, Mike. The worst engine I have ever seen. I see you met Sydney. Now listen here, Mike and Frank. I know he's quite a bit of a pain to work with, but he's actually a hard worker in true heart. You have to get along with him. Otherwise, things might go bad, and you two just grumble and complain. Complain? Where do we ever complain? Exactly. I have never complained in my life. Frank, you complain the most. No, you complain the most. No, you complain the most. Oh dear, here we go again. A few days later, Oliver was turning around for the return passenger train. He saw Sydney in the siding, doing nothing. Hello, Sydney. How are you? Um, I'm fine, thank you. Um, what am I supposed to do again? You're supposed to be shunting ballast trucks. Oh, well, uh, did they give you trouble? No, surprisingly they didn't. Although they did try once, I can't remember the exact details. Hmm. I guess you coped them very well. Yes, Oliver. Um, what are you going to do again? Taking passengers. Oh, I got to go. See ya. He's a much more strange character than last time, said Oliver to himself. Sidney, although, was a hard worker. But whenever he sees another engine, he tends to forget what task he's supposed to do for them. Um, Donald and Douglas, what am I supposed to do with those trucks again? Ah, uh, you're supposed to be arranging the ballast train for us, said Donald. Toad, can you even help out with him? said Douglas. Of course. Sydney, you should arrange them quickly. I think they're getting very impatient right now. Oh, uh, of course, uh, Toad. Okay. And, uh, uh, what am I say again? In the sheds that night, the four engines would discuss about Sydney while he was asleep in the other berth. I can't stand over here anymore, said Donald. He's getting very tiring, very frustrating to keep him in order. Okay, I kind of understood. But however, I realized that he's not really that really, really, uh, different from the other diesels. He's the odd one out of all of them. Exactly, said Duck. But despite that, his disability, he is a hard worker. And we should keep it that way. Yes, said Oliver. It's only a matter of time before he finally shows that he is indeed really useful, said Oliver. Sydney managed to handle the ballast trucks very well, which is a good start. But on the chute, it was a different story. Sydney was pushing some empties under the ballast chute but forgot where to stop, causing ballast to pour all over him. Better luck next time, laughed Frank, who was taking a liking to Sydney's disadvantages. Further up the line, Duckling was having trouble. His fire bar collapsed as halfway up the slope. He was stranded and needed for assistance. Ah, uh, I better get moving soon. I don't want to block the line. Fortunately, Sydney was heading to the washdown at the big station and saw Douglas blocking his line. Oh dear, broken down? Don't worry, I'll push you out of the way. Um, Donald, is it? Douglas, laddie. Thank goodness you're here. 
No problem, happy to help. Douglas and Sydney had gone well when they reached the top of the slope, and Sydney saw something in the distance. Look, there's a sighting over there. I can leave you there, then I can take the train on for you. Are you sure, Sydney? Of course. I'd like to help any other engine, especially with the you. Um, okay, said Douglas, puzzled. What are you doing? The siding's too short, so I had to uncouple them so that way I will not block the line. Oh, okay, said Douglas, but we're only here for a short while. Then, before he could say anything else, he can hear Oliver's whistle, and Oliver raced past with the truck screaming and laughing behind him. He was out of control. Help! 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 cried Oliver. He rumbled over the bridge and tumbled down the bend, his truck falling behind him as the crash happened. Luckily, no one was hurt. Douglas was speechless. Sydney had saved him and Oliver from a collusion. Thank you, Sydney. Oh, I didn't expect it to happen suddenly like this. It's a good thing your idea has saved the day. What my idea? What what just happened just now? And what am I doing here exactly? <laughs> That's Sydney it is. Douglas laughed. 